Hello everybody, welcome back to the Limit of Adhesion Season 5 of our Open Wheeler Championship. This is Round 4 and we're at Silverstone. My name is Gareth and joining me once again in commentary, it's a man who's never been seen naked in Belgium, it's Jules. Jules, how are you? Pretty sure that's a lie. You've been seen naked in Belgium? I'm sure I have. Amazing. I'll be searching the internet later for that one. Let's take a look at the standings then. David Lyon on top of the championship from Nick Lee following Dave's win at Watkins Glen. Then Nathan Parker up in third. He's doing stormingly well for Stupid Aguri. Stephen Greening in fourth. Lee Harding in fifth. And in the team standings, the A team are on top from Stupid Aguri, Risky Racing Blue, NGP, Vol NGP Volvo Safe Driving Academy. Curse you, Nick, for your team name jps jaguar in fifth then we've got sleepy time racing sim stickers racing and the wizards taking a look at the practice results and lee harding on top for sleepy time racing followed by stephen greening david line in third oliver walker nick lee nathan parker shane abbott michael messenger wayne palmer gavin kelly and oliver etridge rounding out a small but very select grid. And let's take a look at the qualifying results. And Michael Messenger on pole position for Risky Racing Blue ahead of Stephen Greening, his teammate. An all risky front row then. Lee Harding, Nick Lee, David Lyon all the way down in fifth. Very unusual for such a fast man in qualifying. Then we've got Oliver Walker, Gavin Kelly in seventh, Shane Abbott in eighth. Then Nathan Parker in ninth, tenth is Ettridge and Wayne Palmer down in 11th place and we were right it was Shane who was joining the NGP Volvo Safe Driving Academy Jules yeah yeah we are we are sometimes right <laughs> but good to see how that team do in the rest of the season then lights are on red we're ready to go racing at Silverstone green lights we're racing and it's a great start there for Nick Lee look and he's already up alongside and into second place then Great start by Nick. Michael Messenger holding off from pole position then. And that's uh, going to come into the Les Lee Harding in the brawn then. That was catching me out and he's had a storming start. And up looking challenging Nick as they come through the loop for the first time. And side by side as they come onto the Wellington Strait. And Lee, oh, they're changing positions all the time. And look at that, Stephen Greening trying to make it three wide. As we come down to Brooklands. Nick's taken the long way round. It looks like he's held off the pair of them. And Greening has taken Lee. So it's Greening past Harding and up into third position. Oh. Cracking start then, Jules. Yeah. Um, risky. I mean, obviously, Messenger's got an ideal start there. But great battling between Lee and uh, Nick Harding. Yeah. Harding. Sorry, Lee Harding and, and Nick Lee. Yeah. And Harding trying to put the move on as they came through Cops. See, Oliver Walker has jumped David Line off the line as well. He's up into fifth place now. Line down to sixth. There's some good drivers here. Is it Jordan Johnson in a while or Matt Rob Miller? No, so uh, we know that Rob's been a bit busy with his other duties for his... Uh, uh, it looks like Harding yeah. got a slowdown as he's being swallowed up. Oh, you're right. Great spot there. Look at that. He's falling right down the order then. Down to eighth place. Let's hope he can regroup. Nathan Parker running uh, only P9 despite being third in championship. Who's that round? That's Line. David Line in the A-team is round at the Vale Chicane. And he's now last. Did he get tagged or did he just drop it? I didn't see, all I saw was a car going backwards. Yeah, it's quite a big stop into that corner, as we know. He's got going then. Yeah, he didn't hit anything, so he should be fine. Yeah. He's just about 11 seconds off the lead. No, oh, indeed, yeah. Here's a replay then. No, he just lost it. Look, back end swapping on him on the cold tyres, and round he went. Very uncharacteristic error there for our double champion. Back to live action, then Michael Messenger nearly a second clear at the front. Nick Lee now in stabilised in second place, Stephen Greening in third. 
Walker's now up to fourth place and doing very well. Obviously promoted from Lee Harding's slowdown. Yeah, and uh, Ettridge as well, um, after his practice pace, is doing pretty well there in six. Yeah, he is, yeah. Good spot. I'll tell you what, Ollie is closing on, uh, on Stephen Greening here. Yeah, welcome return to pace yeah. for Oliver Walker. Yeah, curiously off pace at Watkins Glen and Virginia, so nice to see him back battling hard at the front. Here we go then, this is Lee Harding attacking Nathan Parker, who's now up to seventh place. And he's come into this race in third in the championship, so he's having a storm in the opening few rounds. And ahead of team leader Kelly, our reigning F3 champion, currently running in ninth place. So as you say, the A-team missing one driver in Rob Miller. The uh, uh, JPS Jaguar team missing a driver in Jordan Johnson. We've got you know, Josh Gamay for the ETM. Yeah, it's a chance for the uh, Volvo safety team to score some points as they've got both drivers in this race. Yes, indeed. Currently running second and fifth. And the Risky Racing boys currently running first and second as well. Yeah, and uh, shout out Greg Parmenter currently uh, missing this race as well. His teammate Wayne Palmer running in 10th place for the Sim Stickers team. Good run by Harding here. Yeah. Great run as they come down the Wellington Strait and into Brooklands. Harding getting past Parker. Yeah, this is such a long, never ending corner. Luffield. Probably the clumsiest corner on the track, in my opinion. It just feels really <laughs> awkward. So, Lee... Yeah, messenger isn't really getting away, is he? No, I was just going to say that. Lee's stabilising the gap. and uh, We're starting to get to the point where this new tyre model, the tyres are now up to full temperature. So let's see what he can do from here. And of course the big question then is can they handle it when the when the tyres start to overheat? Yeah, only the second race with the new tyres. Yeah, greening to the inside as they come through Stowe. Lee just holds on. Look at that, that's Parker fighting back on Harding. So that battle's Yeah, he was, uh, he was on his tail, so yeah, he's been able to stick with him. Yeah. Kelly running very wide through Stoke. Oh, big slide through Harding, through Vale. Oh, Parker's gone over the chicane, over the sausage. And let's open the door to Kelly, who's through. Needing no second invitation there. And here's Parman, uh, sorry, Palmer fighting as well. So has Parker got a bit of damage from that curb? And Kelly, did he get a slow down through Stowe? Because he went very wide through there. Yeah, it looks like there must have been a slow down there. Yeah. So a frantic few corners there for uh, this race. The end of lap three. We're riding on board with Nick Lee in second position. And he's gone defensive down the Wellington Strait. Wow, and it's not just Messenger he's got to worry about. Ollie Walker is right in there as well. This is a three-way scrap for second place. And with Messenger only a few tenths up the road, you'd have to say this is a five-way scrap for the win. This is awesome. It is indeed, yeah. So a long way to go. Yeah, a long way to go indeed. We've seen from the practice times that I mean our, our drivers are some of the fastest F3 drivers on the service. We regularly see Dave sticking in times pretty close to uh, to the to the world record times and things. So it'd be nice to see if we can get some more drivers coming to uh, to try their hand with these drivers here because they are phenomenal talent. Here comes Ollie. Yeah, Sid Dave there at the back is taking about a second off the leaders so he's making his way back up. It's only a couple of seconds off the back of the, tra of the train. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how far he can get with another recovery drive. Obviously he put a great one in at is it Virginia where he climbed back up the order to fourth, didn't he? Yes. So, personal best then for Messenger, for Lee, for Ettridge, for Harding, for Palmer. 
152-1 for Dave as well. He is really flying at the back there. Yeah, imagine he's kicking himself, dropping it all on his own under the brake and slucking up the rears. Yeah, and we saw that sort of two or three seconds that Kelly was off the pace that lap because of the slowdown as well. Because there's no way he's running a 54 normally. the two stupid degrees Kelly to the inside into Brooklands Parker not fighting him too hard well I say that they got very close on the exit there and this is allowing line just to scamper onto the back of them that 5 of 24 as they come down the old start finish straight Yeah, I think Line would say it was still the start of the street. Doesn't really know this track. No, he's not not a fan of the new layout. These things. Just too many years spent driving around the older, the older layout. Doesn't stop him being fast though. Well, nothing stops Dave being fast, unfortunately. <laughs> What's your view of the uh, the current layout versus the old one? I really like the new one actually. Yeah, I don't mind it, and I mean you're racing on a lot of the old one. Although I miss Bridge. Yeah, Bridge is a crazy good corner, yeah. We've got a battle going on a bit further back. Look, this is Ettridge and Abbott, I assume. Yeah, there is Ettridge. So, Oliver... Yeah, Abbott's still holding him off for now. Yeah. Oh no, who's that? That's Kevin Kelly round from the Stupid Aguri team, then. Hope we get a replay of... Whatever's happened there, presumably he just dropped it. Yeah, he'd only just got past Parker, so they were quite close to go. Yeah. We'll have to have a look. Yeah, that's a big shame. Here's the replay then. And this is through the Vale chicane. And, whoa, that's un... Yeah, that's unusual. It's just ran out of grip on the rears there. Yeah. So cutting back to the action then, and Ettridge really closing in now on Shane Abbott. Now bedecked in the proper NGP Volvo Safe Driving Academy livery, very nice to see that. Curious that Lee Harding hasn't really progressed in, from where he was. I, I thought with his pace in the early, early running he'd be sliding his way back through the field. But... Everyone's running a similar pace aren't they though? Everyone's doing 52 fours except for Dave. Yeah, Dave now into the 51s. And closing in on Nathan Parker. Oh, look at Greening's that. Greening's gone off. Walker's past him. Greening, wow, that's a huge shame then. From third place in the race then. Rejoins the race in sixth place. Hope we get a replay of what happened to him. Wow, and that's Ettridge through then. Ettridge through Abbott as they came through Stowe. He's now up into fourth place. New personal best for Messenger at the front. Wow, we've got battles going on like two by two. Look, Ettridge and Abbott still going, Greening and Harding. These two more used to doing battle with each other in GT3s. Let's see. Yeah, and you've got Parker now. He's got line right behind him. Yeah. Not many cars on the grid, but they're making up for it. They really are. Actually racing each other. We're seeing some really exciting racing going on here. And then there's Kelly, 10 seconds off the back of the field. Well, once you... you know, just took him a bit longer to re recover after his spin compared to uh, line, I guess. Well, line was started spinning a lot further up, didn't he? Yeah. Oh, here we <laughs> he go. Near the, near the front. Yeah, good point. Here we go then, line on Parker. Will he do it? Backs out. Yeah, <laughs> doesn't want to risk it into cops then. There are easier places to make the move. But now he's going to have to wait all the way through Maggots and Beckett's. Yeah, I need to hang on here, but... 
because the dirty air is going to make it difficult and needs to get a, a good tow down hangar but it's not going to be close enough I don't think. No, I think you might be right. We'll wait and see, we're riding on board with Parker, we're now riding on board with Shane Abbott in four, fifth place. And Shane only joined the Formula 3 grid at Watkins Glen and had a tremendous drive to, was it fifth place he came there? Something like that. I oh, know you got the podium. Yeah, great, great start. You got the podium yeah, no, after uh, after uh, Stephen Greening dump crossed, crashed on the final corner. I remember that? Yeah, storming result, as I say. Greening on a super recovery drive after his run wide incident. Look, you can see he's up to fifth place now. Yeah, and Harding now attacking Robert. Yeah. He's going wide to get a better exit. Oh, it's as tight as they come onto the Wellington Strait. Albert's yeah, got a bit more overspeed, but it looks like Harding's got the inside line and should be able to make this move into Brooklands just about. Oh, great driving by the pair of them there. Yeah, he got the. He went wide to get the inside to uh, get a better run, so he didn't even need a slipstream. No. He still that was all done on just having a better exit. Still needs to get the move done on the brakes though, yeah. But he did a great job. So Harding now up into sixth place. So, with a third of the race oh. gone, what's happened? I just noticed Lyons back behind Kelly. Wow, he is, and he's a long way back. Good spot. So has Lime pitted or has he spun? Hopefully we're I actually reason. didn't see. No. He Probably we just didn't notice. Well, but, he, uh, yeah, we'll find out if he's um, done a stop or not because it will have been enough laps, I imagine. He was behind Nathan Parker, so maybe he decided he wanted to pit early to get some clean air. Yeah. Yeah, I know Dave is starting to think about it. He normally likes a run it till you dry sort of thing, but I know that he's starting to think about tactics when you are being held up by trying to pass people. Wow, well, Harding right on the gearbox of Greening as they come through past the farm shop. And I'm going to do is maybe he's trying the same thing as the last lap, because I thought he might have died onto the inside there, but he thought better for it. Yeah. Carrying a huge amount of speed as they came down the main straight. Gap pretty stable at the front, still a second between Messenger and Lee. Yeah. I really want to know what happened to Dave. <laughs> I can only assume that he's. I mean, either he. Well, no, because Parker's not. Parker's not fallen down the order, so. Normally, if there's a crash or a tag, both cars would normally spin. Wow, hard and very wide as it came through cops. Well, he's about 30 seconds off the lead, so let's see. If he has pitted, he's going to need to close that gap now and try and jump people when they stop. Yeah. Because he was, he was, like, in ninth. Yeah. Or tenth, so behind uh, Parker. Greening wide through Chapel, which has slowed him down onto the hangar straight and given Harding a great run as they head to Stowe. I saw Greening just hit in the dirt there. That definitely would have stopped yep. him accelerating. So Harding through before they even get to the Vale Chicane. He's up into fifth place. Everybody doing personal bests at the front. Yeah, look at that, 52-0 for Ettridge. He's really getting dialed in now. Yeah, he's only four seconds off the lead. Yeah. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> That's an Abbott reappearing. A surprise Abbott. I think Greening thought he was done with Abbott. Yeah. Abbott had other suggestions, other, uh, other ideas there. A great exit. He's going to have him at the uh, down the straight. That was a super exit. He really carried a lot of speed through the loop there. Let's go for a bit more tow though. Of 
Because Green is going to have the inside for the next corner. Yeah, he's got the inside for Luffield. I don't think you're going to be able to get all the way around the outside there, Shane. And Shane obviously had a great race here with us in the TCR, uh, where we raced on the, the Legacy International layout. I think he won the second race, didn't he? Uh, yes, indeed. I was obviously a fan of this place. Side by side, three maggots and Beckett's come greening and Abbott. That's very awesome. And look at the Palmer behind them. Yeah, I'm really wondering why the grid is so small. Like, look at the fun they're having. Oh, it's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know why yeah, we're struggling with numbers, but are both across both splits. But, I mean, as a... We've got we've had eight new drivers into Club 1500 F3 this season in total, and yet we're only getting 10 to 14 cars a race. So we've definitely lost a few drivers from churn or burnout or something, which is a big shame. Same with the top split as well. I mean, we should be really getting it close to 20 cars. Of, well, probably 20 cars a split. Well it grows again like it was I'm sure we'll get back up there I'm sure we will yeah it's just a shame that drivers are missing out on what has been some fantastic racing well Green just getting back through then Palmer is right on the back of his train and Parker is joining the party too here we go four cars together I wonder if Greening's overcooked his tyres a bit I did mention they do tend to overheat more than anything now with this new tyre model and you start to slide a lot more on corner so exit and stuff. He got passed by Harding didn't he because he went wide and now he's, uh, he's five seconds behind him. Yeah. But then he is battling and uh, I mean... He is, yeah. Which does slow you down obviously. Well, here they all come. Greening, Abbott, Palmer, Parker. Line still... Th Line still about... Yeah, I was just noticed. He's about 30 seconds still behind. Yeah. He's not really made any inroads into Messenger. Still with the fastest lap, but I think that's the same time he set earlier, isn't it? The 51.9. Yep. I'll wait and see what his lap time is. It's just about... Yeah, he's going to cross the line soon, isn't he? So, well, he's just joined the hangar straight, so he's a while back. Meanwhile, another bunch of personal bests, and Etridge is into the uh, 51s as well now. Wow, Etridge is really getting dialed in with this track and this car. This is awesome. Comes to battling four. Abbott to the inside through T1. Wow. Parker was so close and Palmer 52-0 for Dave look. so he's close to that pace but only a tenth off his yeah, best yeah it's all just very even isn't it mm. oh Palmer Parker's made a move in Palmer yeah I wonder if Palmer just uh, got checked up a little bit there because he was he's lost a lot of, a lot of time there look fallen right off the back and he was basically attacking Abbott I think you make a mistake or you get a bit wrong footed and then the person behind you just jumps yeah. on the uh, on it so I'm sure he'll have an opportunity to get back past and Etridge has passed Walker, we didn't see that move yep, back ahead slowly closing the gap actually on Messenger yeah, Etridge is putting in an absolute charge here. Shaping up for a very exciting second half of the race then between Michael Messenger, Nick Lee, Oliver Etridge and Oliver Walker for the win, you'd have to say. Less than four seconds covers those four cars. Yep, it's going to be down to pit stops and making the least mistakes. Yeah. Like Lee is starting to put pressure on as he puts in a purple fastest lap. Very nice, 51, 7, 9, 8. Wow, it's swiftly eclipsed by Lee Harding. 
also with the 51 seconds. Ah, oh, is this because he's, yeah, Abbott. Saying Abbott's got the fast lap, but that's because he's gone in the pits. Yeah, mm. although Harding hasn't, so his was a legitimate one. Yeah. I did notice that, that it does give you fastest laps when you go in the pit lane, which is a bit random. So, Abbott the first to blink then with the pit lane. Although we don't know if Dave did pit already as well. We we'll still wait to find that out, but we know that on the normal strats it's Abbott first. Yeah, and he's dropped out just behind Dave. Yeah, so let's see what happens. So if Dave has pitted, then he's jumped Abbott, who was fighting for what, sixth, fifth, sixth? Yes. Well, this could be very interesting then. We know Dave's rapid. But to affect it, so he's going, basically gone. He's going, if he has pitted, then he's going to be going from last to like middle of the grid, isn't he? Middle of the pack. See him yeah, absolutely. See Dave on the driver track, just going through cops, chased by Abbott. Greening going slightly off track there, once again. Sound like he's lifted again. Yeah. I yep. So Parker through then in sixth place. Green is really struggling to keep it on track enough to avoid those slowdowns. And then he comes into the pit lane. I think his tyres are cooked, or at least overheated. Will they? I mean, you can call him in the pit stop apparently. Oh. oh, look at that. That's the second time Parker's been over that curb. And Hardin is almost on the back of Walker. He's just pumping in those purple fastest laps. Yeah. He's making it a five-way fight for the lead. Brilliant stuff. This is what we need. Doesn't matter that we haven't got that many cars on track when they're racing this well. So Line has jumped greening as well. Yeah, so Line has stopped, Luke. One. Yes, yeah, you're right. Wow, that's... Cheeky little stop we didn't notice. Cheeky early stop for Lion. Oh no, Kelly round again. What's happening there? Yeah, that's at the loop. That is a, quite a tricky exit with these cars though. It's very easy to loop the car out the loop. <laughs> a bit too, If you get a bit too heavy footed and with the, you know, with the tyres overheating as I have mentioned. So I wonder if that's what's bitten Kelly there. But to, oh, painful for Kelly to fall behind those three drivers who have all stopped and he's yet to stop. So it's turning into a bit of a night to forget for Gavin Kelly, our reigning champion. Right, Nicola Lee has really got a lot closer to Messenger now. Yeah, look at that, under a half a second. And this is, that's the battle we're looking at. We've been looking at the other Risky Racing Blue and the other NGP Volvo Safe Driving Academy car, but now we're looking at the front two. Their teammates, Michael Messenger and Nick Lee. So I wonder if Kelly will dive into the pits now and try and get some new boots on and see if he can salvage something from this race. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not sure. Doesn't seem very comfortable out there. Well, at least he will be picking up points. Our diminished field is uh, does mean that everyone on track will be scoring. New personal best for Dave, 151.795. Well, Messenger's uh, responding and upping the, upping his pace to uh, to meet the challenge of Nick here. But there's Etridge just behind him. On board with Nick now. It's following nicely. The nose is turning in nicely. Yep. Yeah, he's not struggling on the front at all, is he? Biding his time at the moment. 
I found it was the rears that I was really struggling with around here though. Mind you, I started driving bar first last night and my goodness me, I was struggling a heck of a lot around there. Yeah, I'd say last season it was quite a good good fun track to drive. Yeah. Oh, oh messenger going skateboarding there. Yeah, rail slide. And let's open the door for Nick then. Here they come, but this is a flat out first, first corner. He's going to go for it. That's bold. Wow, well, Messenger shuts the door nicely though. Well, it's going to be all about down the Wellington Strait. Who's got the better run out of the loop? Here we go. And this is letting Ettridge just cruise onto the back of them. Look, now 2.8 behind. Yeah, he's managed to get a bit away from Walker. Yeah, and Walker's falling into the clutches of Lee Harding, like you mentioned before. There, you can just see Lee in the white car zooming into the uh, Brooklands behind the purple of Oliver Walker. Tense, tense battle at the front, though, between Michael Messenger and Nick Lee. Neither car yet to stop. I wonder when they're going to make that make that crucial move into the pit lane. Eight laps to go. Yeah, I'm wondering who's saved enough incident points as well, because they only get 12 and it's quite easy to get them at this track. It is indeed, yeah. Notice some drivers going wide occasionally, and they come amongst them. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, some of these corners are very, uh, they're very tight with their, uh, the off tracks. They're, there's not much forgiveness and room allowed for, uh, for going off. Walker is in the pits. So Walker first to blink from the top five. I guess a 50.9. <laughs> so let's keep an eye on Dave Line then on the driver tracker and see how well this recovery drive has worked for him in relation to a to Walker. Look. So he's 28 seconds off Messenger now, so he's pulled him in by about two or three seconds. Yeah, and Walker's now exited the pit lane, so he's still a good five seconds or so up the road from the uh, line, would you say? Looks that way, yeah. Line just got past him best of 51.5, so that's uh, pretty rapid. That is crazy fast. Is that our legit fastest lap? Uh, it's got to be up there, hasn't it? Mm. Definitely the 50.9 wasn't. No. <laughs> So Lee's backed off just a little bit for uh, for now. Yeah, he's still holding that half second gap, but it, you don't feel yeah, like you say, he's not monstering the back of Messenger, is he? Well, someone's had a big one there in the <laughs> middle of Magex and Beckett's. This is waiting because you've got to see what's going to happen at the pit stops. Yeah, you can make up time there. And this is when you start second guessing yourself. Do I go for the undercut? Do I go for the overcut? Do I just mirror his strategy? What? It's like he's decided, doesn't he? He's going for the undercut. I thought Messenger was teasing him there. It looked like Messenger did a little feint towards the pit lane before <laughs> he just suddenly cut back onto the racing line. So, new pit lane fastest lap for Nick Lee. New personal best for Michael Messenger, 51.8. Lee Harding, 51.7. All getting very tight. No tyres. No tyres. That's, that's interesting information. So we'll have to see if anyone else has to chosen it. So as I say, yeah, Tor, Tor Malarin was telling me that... No, it wasn't Tor. I think it was Roberto. I beg your pardon. Um, Roberto had been watching a lot of... Racing. Whoa! Parker! Ah, oh, I thought he'd held that, and round he goes, though. That's a big shame. Nathan Parker spinning in turn three, gets back going. 
So yeah. And Dave's back with it. And there's Dave, yeah. So as I was saying, yeah, Roberto was telling me that um, it's just it was just tire overheating at this track, and that if you just pitted, that cooled the tire sufficiently to to bring the temps back under control, and it wasn't necessary to uh, to change tires. I know a lot of the Club 1500 drivers did so at Watkins Glen. I think they all changed tires there actually. Gavin Kelly's just pitted then from 11th place and rejoins the action. Yeah, in the battle between Parker and uh, Lyons. Yeah. I think Dave pitted to avoid this battle, so Parker's obviously been able to keep a good pace that he's kept ahead of him. But he hasn't pitted yet, has he? And look at the back end of his car. Oh, yeah, you're right, yes. Thought he was, thought he had from him. No, yeah, Parker was nearly losing the car as they came through Maggots and Beckett's there. Is he going to let Dave go? Etridge in the pit lane. Not the best race for Park for uh, Stupid Aguri. No. Oh no, he's holding he held him off there. I thought he was going to get past him there. Yeah. Oh, we'll line four about it into the Vale chicane. Now, this is Parker just saying, well, I'm going to have a good time racing with you then because, I mean, strategically, there's no gain to him holding Dave up here. Lots of drivers no, pitting by us. just having fun. Yeah. Palmer's in the pits and now leaving the pits in eighth place. Dave needs to get past that. It's costing him time, obviously. Yeah, it's costing him valuable time. Now up to seventh place. And so here's a replay of Parker. Oh, he's making... Oh, so that's Nick Lee just coming out... Uh, Nick just out of his pit lane. I was wondering why he was attacking Nick. Was like, Nick's race hasn't gone that wrong. <laughs> Cuts back to live action though. Dave Lyon down the inside into Brooklands. Wow, Palmer Parker fighting back, holding him off. <laughs> still going. <He's> still going. <laughs> you alright? <laughs> yeah. Oh, why didn't he go inside? He's whoa. Lyon wiggling away. Tried the outside there, he's really not. Not happy about trying to get past him, is he? No. Can't afford the collision, obviously. Now, can he make the move through down the hangar straight this time? Oh, pa Parker's round! I thought his car looked very loose through as he came through Beckett's. It was a really aggressive turn in as he came through the right hander, and then the car just letting go as they came through Chapel. That's. Massively unfortunate for Nathan. He was having a good little scrap there with Dave. Yeah, so that's stupid Aguri is now at the tail end of the field. Yeah, so definitely a drop score for those guys. Here's Michael Messenger then, yet to stop still. Lap 20 of 24. Lee Harding now in second place and he's yet to stop. Nick Lee in third, 18 seconds behind. And I don't think we know what the pit lane time is yet. Parker into the pit. Parker's just pitted. So we'll see how long it takes him. I wonder if he would have been better off pitting the lap before. I mean, I know he was probably having a whale of a time racing with Dave, but strategically, pitting might have been the better option. But, you know, everyone's here to have a race and a good time, aren't they? So Exactly. Sometimes you've just got to say balls to it. Harding now nearly five seconds off. Oh no, it's, it was Etridge who was under three seconds behind him, wasn't he? So uh, yes. yeah, Harding has actually closed it to being under five seconds. <laughs> Not seeing what his last lap time is though. Got to keep an eye on that in a few corners time. <laughs> Meanwhile, here's Ollie Walker currently running in fourth place. Etridge chasing him once again now he'd passed he'd passed what uh, Ollie hasn't he so Ollie's got pa passed on strategy yeah they have been in front of each other or behind each other a few times they've swapped yeah but I wonder if uh, I wonder if Ollie took tyres uh, I wonder if yeah <laughs> 
They're both folly. I wonder if Ettridge took tyres and that's why he got past, or whether it was just Walker made uh, had a better pit stop. Quite possible, and there was uh, the gap had built quite a bit behind between them. It had, yeah. So we're waiting to see. Only three laps to go. Yeah, running out of laps for Messenger to pit here. Yeah. I mean, his pace has been fast enough. You'd have to say, I don't think he could do it on uh, on a fuel safe strategy, could he? No, he's not lifting and coasting, is he? No. He's had to. He's had pressure from Nicola the the whole race until he pitted, and even then, he's still he's, the gap's still only eighteen and a half seconds. So they're both hustling. Yeah, I wish I knew what the pit lane time was because then it would be. Uh, well, the average pit stop time was because that would be really useful to know but I forgot to look at the uh, the chart that normally pops up and tells <laughs> us once we've had a few stops how long it's taken them meanwhile Ettridge is closing this gap though he's, you'd have to say he's definitely got the faster pace out of these two ollies did today and uh, was that another tactical off track train? quite possibly That's line in the background, but he hasn't. Messenger is finally in. As is Harding. Here we go. Top two for the race. Where are they going to rejoin? Keep an eye on Nick Lee then in third place. You can see he's coming up to the Vale chicane now. Harding, 49-8. <laughs> Excellent pit stop. Absolutely ludicrous fastest lap time. Here comes uh, Nicolai. And the pit lane rejoins after turn one. There he is. There's Michael Messenger. Where's Lee? There he is. Oh, my goodness. He's through. Oh, Messenger must be gutted. So there you go. Pit, pit stop takes about, I don't know what. 18 and a half seconds. seconds. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, Nick Lee into the lead of this race then after Messenger has commanded it for 22 of 24 laps. That's going to be a bitter pill to swallow for Michael Messenger. He's driven a storming race. But you have to say, so has Nick Lee. A massive shout out for Lee Harding to recover from that slowdown on lap one where he was battling in the podium positions and he's fought his way all the way back up into third place. Wow, Lee going a bit defensive there as they came down the old start-finish straight. Yeah, I feel the need to break the toe. I've just noticed Walker's dropped back again. He's back behind Detridge. Yeah, and four seconds behind. Maybe he's made a mistake. Yeah, you've got to say it's probably... Maybe he got a slowdown. Maybe... Uh... Yeah, not a spin, he would have lost more time. Yeah, and as much as I, I, I would like to see a replay, but at the same time I don't want to lose sight of this gripping battle for the win. Well, I think... I wonder if Lee's just done enough now. Look, he's uh, he's extending the gap every, uh, every few corners by about a tenth. Yeah, really pushing. Yeah. I feel I do feel gutted for Messenger there, even though uh, yeah, I'd be happy with whoever wins. But at the same time, I've got a feel for Michael there. He's driven a great race. Ah, uh, he's got he's got wins, hasn't he? He has. He's got plenty of wins. <laughs> he's also got the best pit lane entry ever, <laughs> bar first in the GT3s last season. <laughs> <laughs> So, lap 23 of 24, Lee still having to go defensive, look, as they came down the Wellington straight. Yeah, he's using his one allowed move Yeah. to uh, try and break the toe. Did you see that, Mr. Walker? One move. <laughs> Three seconds is the gap from uh, Michael Messenger to Lee Harding in third, and unless something goes horribly wrong for these two, I think that gap it's probably too much, too big for him to uh, to overcome. 
and Etridge likewise a couple of seconds further back from Lee in fourth place. Again, a stellar drive by Ollie. He really got on top of the F3. Whoa. Whoa, yeah, that was a just bags of understeer there to come off the throttle. Yeah, he did well to uh, keep it in bounds there. Did Michael Messenger. Car turned in a bit better there. I wonder if his tyres are feeling a little overheated. And even so, though, he brought the gap down for those couple of corners, look. Final lap now coming up. Yep, final lap of what has been a thoroughly entertaining race, despite only 11 cars in it. It's been a great contest. Pretty much where we started, wasn't it? In the radicals, about 11 cars. Yeah, no, you're Maybe right. slightly less. I think it was even less, yeah. 51 1 for Mr. Line looking sixth place. That's got to be the official fastest lap, surely. To wait and see. Well, I know Nick had his 50 point. No, it was Lee, didn't he? He had something like a 49 something on the way into the pits, but. So. Oh, Messenger has not given up. He's closing back up. Yeah, he's putting. So Nick kicking up a bit of dust just a second ago, and Parker's pitting again for some reason. Oh dear. Maybe he's got a drive free penalty. Yeah, Messenger is fighting hard here. He still wants this win. He still feels like he can have this win. They're coming through Cops for the final time. Wow, he's looking to the inside as they come to Maggots and Beckett's. This race is far from over quarter of a second between the top two. Harding is getting ever closer as well. Yeah. Here they come then, onto the hangar straight. There's only like four corners from home now. Top four, all on the hangar straight together. This is getting very tight at the front. Coming through Stowe for the final time. It's half a second between them now. Wow. Lee was very wide as they came through there. Is that slowdown territory? Into the Vale chicane he comes. Whoa! What the heck happened there? Messenger over the back of Lee, Nick Lee, in the middle of the Vale chicane, popping up into the air. Lee Harding's just won this race. Wow, Messenger's looking <laughs> like a very damaged car. What on earth has just happened there? showing messenger come across the line but I'm guessing he must have got a penalty yes yeah I think you're right I think Link Lee got a slowdown and um, it didn't look like he'd served it into the chicane so maybe he served it in the chicane yeah I think we need a replay of that that was a, a very confusing end to the race we had the banners telling us Lee Harding won the tower says Michael Messenger and the race results confirm Lee Harding has won the race from Oliver Ettridge in second and Oliver Walker in third. David Lyon promoted up to fourth place, Stephen Greening in fifth, Wayne Palmer in sixth, Shane Abbott in seventh, Michael Messenger eighth place, Nathan Parker in ninth, Gavin Kelly in tenth and Nick Lee in eleventh place. Oh, that was hero to zero. Hero to zero stuff indeed. This is a replay of uh, Nathan Parker as he lost it into turn three. That is the... I can't remember if that's Village or Farm. I was getting a bit confused about those two. David Lyon on top of the standings then. And opening up the gap above Nick Lee. Lee Harding up to third. Oliver Walker up to fourth. Nathan Parker losing two places down to fifth. Stephen Greening was in sixth place there. There's Kelly. Is he dropping it in the pit lane? Oh, crashing into the wall in the pit lane. Misery continues. Yeah, very unusual one there. Risky Racing Blue up to second place in the standings, but still the A-team are on top. Stupid Aguri losing one down to third. NGP Volvo Safe Driving Academy stabilising in fourth. So are we on board with Nick Lee here as we come through the Belsh Cane. There's Michael Messenger just behind us. Goes to make the move and just riding over that right rear wheel Sorry, that's an acceleration wheel. zone so yeah let us say if it to close that much it must have lifted yeah oh, 
pretty much out of the question, but he was very wide through the exit of, uh, of Stowe just before that as well. So just a reminder, you can find us at limitofatesian.com, facebook.com slash limitofatesian. Come say hi on Discord and like and subscribe our videos and find out about more about this intriguing end of the race. Bye. Bye.